Hello everyone. It is Sunday night. I'm doing my makeup because I'm about to go to this outdoor hangout spot with my sister. Sunday night and we just want to get out and do something. So, and I was like, let's let's do it. I didn't really do much today besides go and look at two homes. One I really really liked like a lot, but it's super far out. It's closer to the area I used to live in when I lived in the Burbs. It's in Bernie. I used to live like right outside of Bernie. So from my last place, it would have been like a, do I like that? So from my last place, it probably would have been like a 15 minute drive. But from me now, it was, okay, it wasn't that bad actually. It's like 35 minutes, 30 minutes. But that was with like Sunday, no low traffic. So I was thinking like, imagine rush hour. Granted though, since I work from home, I guess I don't really have to think about that, but you never know, right? Like I don't wanna, I don't know, live that far out if I could ever have to like, I don't know, need to be more accessible to roads. But it is off of I-10, so, and not like directly off of it where it's like, you're living right next to the highway, like noisy and just too busy. It was tucked away because it's on, it's not a half an acre. And it was such a cute house. It was a two bedroom, one bath with a giant front porch. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And it also had like a huge backyard. It was fenced. And then there was this like outdoor patio, like climb up thing which is cute, it had like a first like landing where you could put chairs and then a second landing and then like a little, yeah, it was really cute. I worry about the location because I do like living downtown. I feel like it's very accessible, it's very close to things and there's a lot of honestly like grocery stores here. We have Central Market, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's and even though there's like a Whole Foods and Trader Joe's more north, you have to get on this really busy highway, 1604, if you know what I'm talking about. And it's just, I just don't, I feel like life has been so much easier because I don't have to get on 1604 for anything. And they're doing like a, I think it's like a 10 year project to expand it. And I'm like the way they build here, it's gonna take 20 years. And I just, but luckily the place I went to go see was just straight up I-10, but I really liked it. I just really liked it, but I'm scared about the location. Because even though I want to like have more space, and especially like outdoor space and just like room and peace and quiet, I feel like I'm just scared that because I'm not like retired, right? It's not like I know what work and life's gonna look like in the next 10 years. Even I guess if I was retired, I still wouldn't know, right? Because life changes. But I feel like it's just, I don't know, I'm scared to do the whole move to the outskirts now <laughs> even though that's something i definitely want like i definitely want to live somewhere with land and peace and quiet or at least land you can't really guarantee peace and quiet but you know what i mean and i also went and took pictures too because i was waiting for the train to pass when i was going to see the second home and honestly i was like i don't know how long it's going to take the train to go by and i passed this cute little building with like a bunch of greenery and trees and bushels <laughs> and I was like let's just take some pictures and what I do how I take pictures how I've, anyway like how I've started and even how I do my thumbnails they're just live video clips and I just stand still because I feel like I'm more I feel like I look better in video than I do in pictures which I know sounds weird but I feel like the way I look when I'm filming and like standing still and like if I were to stop talking and just like smile and catch a still from this I feel like it would look better than me taking a picture in the same exact position with the same smile if that makes sense I don't know why but I think I just come across in my opinion better and more true like in true form <laughs> than I do like in video than I do in just like a still picture even though both are still me, I don't know why. I think it's just the way the video catches me. But I feel like I'm not very photogenic. Yeah, I feel like I'm videogenic. But I don't think I'm photogenic. And I've like said that for forever. And 
all my friends and family are like, no, you are. I'm like, I don't think I am. And it's not like, I don't think I'm not attractive. I think I'm cute. I think I'm hot. But I just don't think pictures do me justice. At the point where I'm mixing my two foundations, this is like my absolute favorite foundation. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I used to use 13 Chestnut, but it became too light and like yellowy. Then I started using 14 Golden Toffee, kind of like during the summertime, and it was a little bit too red recently, so I just started mixing both. And then in person, it looks good. I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but in person, perfect. I just do a pump of each shade, and even that's a little too much because I still have some leftover on the little palette thing I was using. But I look yellow on camera, but I don't in person, I promise. So I just threw the shirt I wanna wear. It's just that brown top I got from Target, but I wanna wear it with a white skirt that I have from Nordstrom Rack, and then my boots, because I just, I'm obsessed with them right now. I know y'all are gonna be sick of me wearing them, I'm sorry. But um, give me like two weeks, okay? You guys know how I am when I get something that I really like, I have to like just, you know. <laughs> I'm honestly so surprised I had time to do my nails and my makeup because I'm just about done. I just need to do mascara. But I redid my nails. This like, ah, uh, orangey. Yeah. My face looks so yellow. I swear my face is not, is it? Is my face yellow in person? I don't think it is. Okay, maybe it is a little. Let's see if I can fix this. Hold on. Yikes. Maybe I shouldn't have mixed in the um maybe I did too much of the um let's see if I can red it up I think I evened out the yellowness a little bit better I don't know it looks <laughs> the place won't be in bright white lighting I think that's what it is so listen it's gonna be in dim lighting <laughs> so if anyone has a problem with my yellowness they can take it up with not me because that would hurt my feelings the steamer is actually really amazing i think i got it from amazon probably i get everything on amazon but okay usually you're amazing what's going on there we go i like to steam things and not put it on like i like to let it dry because it kind of wets it and i don't want to put it on while it's still slightly damp so while this is drying i'm going to like clean off my beauty mark, my nose piercing, all that from the makeup that got on it. And then put on some fresh lotion. Cause I like came home and showered right after I went to go see all those homes because it was hot and I was boiling, especially cause I went out and took pictures and I was wearing like a hoodie or a sweatshirt. And yeah, so I need to get I need to drop some things off to the tailor, actually, including this skirt. I have it, like, safety pinned, but there's a little, like, hole in it that I need to get fixed because I actually really love this skirt and I don't want to toss it. So I didn't end up liking this skirt at all. It just was too long. It didn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. So I'm just wearing the brown top that I wore probably, like, two days ago. I don't know. I love these. I got it from Target, and then I have on just these jeans from can't remember I've had them for a very long time and then my boots because like I said I'm obsessed with them and it's an outdoorsy spot and it's not like I think it's like grass and kind of gravel so I figured these would be perfect they still look cute I'll probably be a little hot but listen whatever I'm gonna head out I'm not bringing the camera because I'm basically just going with my phone chaps to get my keys <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone. We are up and about. I honestly have not left home in like three days. <laughs> or two days, yeah. Yeah, I have not left home since Sunday. <laughs> I have just been, yeah, because today's Wednesday, yeah. So I'm in the car right now. I'm like, we gotta get up and be productive because I have no more coffee creamer and that is a good reason to get out of the house because how am I gonna drink my coffee? I didn't really like the Camel Crumble one from Califia Farms. And then the sewn in the brown sugar, it was good, but it was almost a little too thick. It kind of like grossed me out. Like it just, it felt like I was drinking 
not oat milk creamer, if that makes sense. It was just a little too thick and like creamy. In a, in a way, I think that reminded me of like, uh, what is it? Not half and half or like cr cream, like just dairy cream. I just, I wasn't a fan of it. So anyway, what we're gonna do is, it's like 10. I have a meeting at 12, so I wanna be able to take that at home. I can take it on the phone, like on my cell phone if I need to, but I don't foresee me being out here like for hours and hours. I want to get a coffee. I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I have $6 in cash that I got from the bottle deposit return. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it because I was like, what else, how else am I gonna like, you know, I'm not gonna go to the bank to deposit six dollars into my bank account. I feel like that's just extra. So I was like, let's just get a coffee and just spend the six dollars there. And then I'm gonna go to the wash tub, which is like down the street from Starbucks, because it's like boom, boom, boom. So I'm very happy about that. And get my car washed. Ever since I went riding, my car is just horrific. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's bad. So it's just very dusty, and the car being black you can see dust more I used to think it was opposite like white cars show more because I did have a white car before but I've always been told like everyone's like no black cars show more of the dirt and I was like I don't think so but whatever so Starbucks the wash tub and then we're gonna go to HEB because they have the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer and that one I remember I like I also like the Starbucks one Oh shoot did I <laughs> Starbucks now it's right here okay I also like the Starbucks one at Target, but I figured HB will have more of what I'm wanting. Let's see. Let's get some coffee. I thought there'd be festive stuff out, but I do like white chocolate, so maybe <gasps> that sounds so good actually. Can I do a tall white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew? I'm so sorry, unfortunately, okay. we ran out of that syrup. Oh. Oh, okay, so it must be good. Um, let's do, do you have like a regular white chocolate? Yeah, so we can do, um, so let's do this. We're gonna do a regular cold brew. We can do it with the white mocha sauce. I just said I was gonna use the $6 that I got from returning my, <laughs> I don't actually remember what I did with it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I know for sure. Guys, I, <laughs> Did I give it away? Like, did I? Cause sometimes um, outside of Central Market, like on the street, there'll be like uh, homeless people that come up and I probably did. I know I gave someone a 10 the other day, but I could have sworn I had $6. Oh, oh well, we'll just use my debit card. I could have sworn I did. I was like, we're gonna basically get free Starbucks cause it's $6 in cash. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's in my other wallet. It's okay if it's not there. Hi. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay, let's see. I brought this in the car because sometimes when I stop it, like, well, it's not really often, but when I was like seeing houses and stuff, I would stop and get an energy drink. And you know they're like this size. So since they don't really fit in the cup holder since they're so skinny, I brought this into the car so that they can stay cold and they fit without like shaking around. But I think I'll just get this in black. Yeah, I think I'll just like get this in black and just have one size of the tall skinny and then one for the regular and just leave it in the car. Since these ones are for home and I like having the white because it matches with my other insulated items. I just, I think I'm just so used to having three cup holders in my last car that that third one is just amazingly useful because now I only have two and I'm like, granted I have two in the back seat, but I don't want to like put down the, I don't want to put down that thing just to have um, more cup holders. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to put you guys away and then we'll just talk when I'm at wash the wash tub because it's going to be like right here and I don't want the people behind me start like honking and like go girl because I too would understand. I feel like they did a really good job. I mean, it was super dusty and I, let me actually lock my door. There we go. But I feel like they did such a good job on the car. They did a vacuum on the inside even though the inside wasn't dirty, honestly. The outside looks very sparkly. I'm very happy. Very, very happy about that. I kind of probably want to get like a detail later on, but right now I'm happy with this. Now we're going to head into HUB. They've been working on this HUB for the longest time. I mean, it's, it's getting better, but it's always been like a little construction sound. Like, look at this. 
It's like a container thing you have to walk through. This isn't the yogurt that I came for, but I kind of want to try it. This little Noosa salted caramel. I think it's always been out because I've seen this before. I don't think it's just for the fall season, but I kind of want to try this. I was looking for the Chobani Unstuck because I saw it on their app and I've been wanting to try it since I saw it online, but I don't see it. And they said they have it in stock, but maybe it's maybe it's around that actual like corner because it's maybe new. Yeah. Because I've come here a few times and I haven't seen it, so maybe it's like a new thingamabob. But let's see. I love a good fun yogurt. Call me insane, but I'm kind of surprised there isn't like pumpkin spice yogurt out already. <laughs> but I'm like super early for the season. I know y'all have been DMing me like, girl, and I'm like, I know. I just, I'm so excited for fall. I just, I can't pace myself. I'm just rushing through the season. But when pumpkin spice yogurt comes out, I will be here and ready. And I'll show y'all what they have, because you guys know I like the um, Wii. The Wii Yoplait pumpkin spice, amazing. There's only two left. I'm gonna get the one in the back. So I kind of want to try this. It's like canned, basically like Sprite. And instead of using like Stevia, like most non-real sugar, like zero sugar things, they always use Stevia. They use sucralose and they have a bunch. Like they have lemon, peach, cherry, orange, lime, and then strawberry. But I'm scared that I won't like it. And I honestly just saw this as soon as I picked up the camera, but they come in these little like 70 cent bottles. So I think I'm going to try one of the lime because I'm assuming it'll be closer to Sprite yeah so I think so and they also have yeah they have basically all of them in an individual so I think I'll try yeah I'll do lime we'll do lemon and lime and see which one I like more or if I like any of them I'm back from I almost said Central Market because my bag H-E-B and I did forget my reusable bag in the car so I like parked my cart at one of the like the empty registers because it was like just the staff there, like some staff there. And I was like, do you mind if I go grab my reusable bag? And they're like, no, it's fine. So I went back and got it because I had like apples and potatoes and I was like, I'm not getting a plastic baggie. Like I rarely get those little like produce baggies. Nothing's wrong with it if you do. I just tend to put my fruits and veggies like straight up in my cart, which I'm sure people are like, what the heck? But you're gonna wash them anyway. Well, I, hope, <laughs> I hope, please wash your produce y'all, like all of it. So <laughs> this is cricket a little bit, it's throwing me off. This is the best it's gonna get because y'all are on, not my tripod. But yeah, anyway, so I went and got my bag and then I brought it in and I just used it. I like it. It makes things like so much easier to carry from the store or like, you know, from the basket to my trunk, from the trunk to my home. It's just, and I like the size. Like I said, I feel like it keeps me from going crazy. The first thing I got, because it would not fit in my bag, is a big thing of H-E-B organic baby spinach. I got the huge one because you guys know how the spinach shrinks up. I'm gonna do some, I think salmon with mashed potatoes and spinach tonight. Oh, I'm gonna try to make it the same way I used to eat it at, I think it's Passano's. Yeah, I know some people say Passano's and some people say Passano's. I think it's Passano's. But they used to have, or I don't know if they have still, I haven't gone in a while. But they have this like salmon spinach dish that I was obsessed with. I started making it like every day for like two months after I had it because I just loved it so much. But I'm adding the mashed potatoes because I just, I'm in a mashed potato mood. So I got the big thing, which I probably should have got two of since I have like two pieces of salmon and two pieces of tilapia that I kind of want to do the same thing with. But I can just go back out during the week and do it. Or maybe because I need to get the cats like the big bulk of litter and cat food delivery because I don't want to pick it up. Maybe I'll just do a big thing of spinach too. I also got this because last night I was craving chocolate. So I got this, it's just two little chocolate donuts. I don't wanna like have them spill over, but I just got two chocolate sprinkled donuts because I was craving chocolate last night and I was like, if I'm craving it tonight, this will be perfect. Just two cute little donuts. I was thinking about baking tonight, but I think I'll just wait a little bit longer before I start like busting out all the baking stuff. Cause I'm kind of loving like the cooking and stuff and I, I'll cook with y'all tonight. And yeah, we'll just wait until it kind of cools down a little bit more to bake. Not that it really matters, but We'll just, we'll pace ourselves. I got two tilapia fillets and I love that they just have them in like a little two pack. I feel like it's super easy for me to go through rather than like a really big pack where it's like, how am I gonna save this? Like put them all in baggies, freeze them. It's just easier for me to cook both of these at one time 
and usually with fish it's a little bit harder so I usually do one and one like I'll season both but I'll cook one for dinner and then I'll cook the next day just because I don't want it to be dry but it's still nice that if I did want to cook both I'm only opening two and not like the whole container I feel like I haven't gotten salmon in a while so I just got two pieces of the Atlantic salmon portions and that's probably what I'm going to cut tonight for the fish and the spinach and mashed potatoes but let's skip to you guys saw me grab this the Chobani oat pumpkin spice creamer. I've tried this before and I like it. There's also a gingerbread spice that comes out around this time, like with the pumpkin spice. I just didn't see it at H-E-B. And then the next two things I got, you guys saw me grab, it's just the sweet and sparkling lemon and then lime kind of sodas. They're not sweetened with stevia, which is unique. Usually like non or zero sugar things are sweetened with stevia. These are sweetened with sucralose, which is the same sweetener in the V8s that I really like. Like this is my favorite V8 energy drink. It's the V8 peach mango. And I believe it's sucralose that they use as their sweetener. Yeah, sucralose. And it tastes great. I love this. I was going to get the blueberry pomegranate, but I got scared at the last minute that I wouldn't like it. And I just went back to my favorite one, the peach mango. So I got that and then the two sodas too, which I'm excited to try. If I end up liking the lime or the lemon, they make them in cans in like a, I think a 12 pack for like four bucks. So I was like, okay, that might be like a, healthy, still sweet soda. Cause like sparkling water is just not my thing. I just can't get into it. I know I should because it's like better for you, but like, it just tastes like nothing. And I just, it's yeah, I'd rather just drink water. Got some organic minced garlic because I'm not chopping garlic. I know it'd be better, but I'm just not doing it. Not right now, okay? Like that, that's not where I was at today. So I just got the minced one. Then look what I found at the last minute. It was like sitting there the whole time. And I'm sure you guys were like staring at the screen like it's right there. I guess because the packaging I thought would stick out more, but it just, anyway. It's a Chobani Unstuck Vanilla Greek Yogurt with tropical fruit on the bottom. I've been wanting to try this since I saw it online, like on their website. I'm one of those people I go to like Planet Oat, Chobani, like other places that make non-dairy, like oat milk creamers and stuff. And I'll look and see what they have coming out or what's like new because I'm insane and I just love doing that. It's just, it, I, yeah. It's one of those things that I just enjoy doing, like looking at new foods, not just for like the season, like fall, but like all the time. I love going on to websites, food apps, and just scrolling. Like I'll go to the grocery section, new to oldest, and do like pick up, like target out like what's pick up available and just see what's out there. I love doing that. So I saw this online and I was like, I wanna try you. It's not non-dairy, but listen, I love Greek yogurt, so. And I haven't found a Greek yogurt non-dairy that's like really good. The ones I've tried are just kind of like, yikes. So I got that. I'm probably going to have a thing today with my sandwich. Or maybe not. I'll wait till it gets colder. And then my baggie. I got three organic Fuji apples. I was looking around and like, you know, pressing them, trying to find a good fourth. And I couldn't find a good fourth. So I was like, you know what? They're big enough. I can just get three. And not be weird about the number and having to get an even number. So I just got three organic Fuji apples. They're pretty big. So I think they'll be fine for the week. And then I got a bunch of white potatoes. Yeah, because I wanted to make mashed potatoes and I love using the little white potatoes for mashed potatoes, for cutting into just little cubes and eating with breakfast. I just think that they're super versatile. So I got those and I got three like personal items. Just got some unscented fragrance-free baby wipes. And then I got some feminine wipes. They have the Summer's Eve Aloe Love. And they also have the ones that I love, the Honey Pot ones. But these were like significantly cheaper. I think this was like three, four dollars for 32. The Honey Pot ones are like 31 or 32 for 10 dollars or nine something. And I was like, holy crap, if these are just about the same, which I go to my annual on Monday. So I'm actually going to ask my gynecologist what she thinks because Honey Pot is on her approved list. Not that you can't use any other thing, like if you go to her, but like she has a list of like approved products for, you know, feminine care. I'm going to see if this is on there. I probably should have done that first, but like if she says it's not and like she's had, or, you know, people have said like, nah, then I'll just stop using it. But if that's the case, I'll just stick with Honey Pot. But I was like, this is cheaper. And if it's on the approved list, I will get this in this economy. But, and then I also got deodorant too, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna put this stuff away, get something to eat cause I'm hungry, make a coffee. So excited. Even though I had a coffee earlier, just, I didn't finish it. I never finished my coffees, honestly. It's just, 
the excitement of making it overpowers the actual like need to drink all that because I'm not good with drinking a lot of juice, non-water throughout the day. I usually don't finish things. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff away and make something to eat. Hi, Bubby. Come on, let's go.